we had decided to visit Federation Peak via the Farmhouse Creek route. This track is the shortest way to the peak, only 26 kilometres, but it is also rated as hard. A bit of an understatement, as we soon found out. Two days in and we had to retreat as snowstorms swept in from the southwest plastering snow and ice on the peak. Weather plays a big part in Tassie bushwalking. Good weather can make a hard track acceptable. Bad weather can make a hard track torture. Tassie weather can go from sunshine to snow to hail to rain in a time frame of hours. Valda was very happy to retreat through flooded creek crossings and tangled slippery forest. The smile on her face said it all. A year later we planned a trip to the Western Arthurs, but bushfires closed the area so we had to settle for Mount Anne another of Tasmania's great walks. The long and winding track climbed steeply up to Mount Eliza, where we reached the Plateau Ridge. We stopped for a tea break and this little fella came out to see if he could join in. The reward for all our efforts was extensive views over Lake Judd and Lake Pedder. The sun was shining and we kept our fingers crossed for more good weather. Mount Anne came into view and so did a distant bushfire. And when we reached High Shelf Camp, we found all the good campsites occupied. It took us a half an hour of searching to find a small flat area amongst the boulders. The following morning brought obscurity. A fine cold mist cloaked the mountains and it remained that way for the next week. Typical Southwest weather. Nature was speaking to us. It was time to seek comfortable shelter. We did not have to be told twice. <laughs> <laughs>